hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be making southern fried collard greens broccolini greens and broccoli greens all right let's get started This is my broccolini. And the kids came out here and almost cut uh, all of it off. Didn't ask them to, but they, they did. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to cook the leaves from the broccolini like I cook my um, collard greens. So I'm gonna take a lot of these off and that's gonna help the flour to grow too so it can have some more. I'm gonna try to probably get these right here next weekend. Let me see if I got some over here. Nope, I cut, I cut that off earlier. So I'm gonna get a bunch of these leaves off. All right, so let's see if I have any broccoli left. That's a little head that hadn't really grown too, grown too much. So I'm gonna get that one. They came out here and taken every broccoli, every piece of broccoli that I had growing. Don't know if I'm gonna have any more. So I uh, don't know why they did it, but they were just trying to help. So I'm gonna come over here and um, see what the damage is and see <laughs> what I can salvage. Oh my goodness. All right, my okra is still doing good. I don't know how much longer it's gonna last, but I'm still getting flowers, still getting okra every other day. And this is my collard greens. I'm getting ready to get some of these too. Something has been eating them too. So I've been feeding something. It's probably a beetle. But, or a squash bug. I've been seeing squash bugs on my block, on my okra here. I'm sick of those green beans, but I'm gonna still pick them. Okay, so this is what my collards look like. And I'm gonna get a couple of bunches and cook those. Some of these here and cook those. My peppers are still doing good. Oh, I see a big piece of okra. Yeah. A big piece of okra, I forgot. Or oh, I missed. I gotta get that too. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't want to bend over. I'm about sick of those green beans. Sick of bending over. <laughs> but anyway, look at all of the flowers that's on my pepper plants. Oh my gosh, I need, it's going to be getting cold soon where it's probably going to kill them at night. But look at all the flowers. It does this every time I grow peppers. I have flowers everywhere and it's almost time for the first frost. Whew, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm anxious, but I am going to overwinter those and I'm going to do a video on that. All right, let's get these greens in here. So this is all of the greens that I'm going to cook today and have a whole table full. This is my broccolini greens. This is my broccoli greens right here. And this right here, pile, excuse my hands y'all, I've been cooking all day. This right here is my collard greens. And I want to cut the whole thing so you can see it. Said I've been feeding something <laughs> out here. Something else been feeding my greenery, but that's okay because I'm gonna get me some today too. So no harm, no foul. All right, so that will look exactly like this if you get in the store and you cut the stems. But I love the stems because if you cook them right, they're tender. I'm gonna cut the little yellow, yellowing parts off. All right, let's go in the house. All right, the first thing I'm gonna cut is collard greens. Okay, now, like I said, I love to eat the stems, so I'm gonna cut about that much off. Now, if I had bought this from the grocery store, I would've left that rubber band on it, and I just roll it up like that. And you're gonna cut them. small enough for me where it's not too big and not too small and this is a really good knife I bought this from um, Bed Bath & Beyond and it's really good and sharp so I'm gonna put everything together and wash everything together 
and cook everything just like I would normally cook my collard greens. Okay, so let me show you this knife. Okay, so here is my knife and these come in a set of four, I think three or four. And as I said, I bought these from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're really sharp and I love it. Look at that. Had these for about a year now and they are cutting the same. All right, so y'all run out there and get you some. I don't know the price, so don't ask me. I have all of my greens soaking in this water and I put a little salt in it, but they're fresh from my garden. They don't have any pesticides in them. And I saw some beetles where, where some beetles had eaten, but I didn't see any actual living beetles on these right here, but they've been soaking for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash them off and get ready to cook them. I got my frying pan getting hot. And this is just a mug of some bacon grease that I have in here. Let me let it get a little bit warmer. And this is a pan that I used earlier to make my dressing. And I sauteed my celery and my onions in here. So we already got one flavor in this pan and it's just gonna be more flavor, okay? I didn't clean out the drippings. So we're going to pour the bacon drippings in there. This is fried cabbage, okay? So this is how I cook my fried cabbage. So we're gonna let that grease get warm so that when we put it in there, look at there, it's just good and hot, it's starting to smoke a little bit. So let me go ahead and add some greens. Now, you hear that sizzle? You hear that sizzle? That lets you know that the pot is good and hot. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit. And what I would normally do is cook some ham hocks in the crock pot overnight, 
didn't do that, so I'm gonna use Goya, and this is a ham flavor. There you go. Ham flavored concentrate, and I just add water to it, and I make my ham flavor. You can use chicken broth if you want to. Okay, so I have a whole gallon here. May or may not use all of that. And we got the eye on kind of a medium high heat. We're gonna add some broth to this. And then we're going to let it sweat down so we can add the rest of the collard greens. I'm gonna take the top and put it on there. And when they sweat down enough to add the, um, the rest of them, I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, don't shrunk down a little bit. I'm gonna add the rest of the collard greens. It's on the table. Lauren wants some cornbread, so you know how she is. I made some for the dressing, but I'm gonna make some for the cornbread, for um, just cornbread in, in a few minutes as soon as I finish putting all these greens in the pan. All right, so we're gonna top the rest of them off, and believe me, they're gonna fit. I think I'm gonna have to put about three additions in here. Well, you know what? Yeah, maybe three. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sweat down. And the next batch will be it. Now, this is the last little bit. This is it. This is my broccoli greens, my broccolini greens, and my collard greens. Okay. Woo! We're in for a treat. Now I'm going to salt and pepper it. I'm going to let everything, oh, it smells so good. I'm going to let everything simmer down before I started adding any more broth. Right now you see we got a, uh oh, I'm knocking him out. Oh, no, 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 can't do that now. Let me get over here on the other side and pick him back up. Cause I'm greedy like that, I don't wanna lose not one piece. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the top back on this for a few minutes and let it sweat down some more. And after I get to a certain point, you don't have to put the top back on it. Check things out. At this point, I think I'm gonna let that lid stay off of it. And we're just gonna cook what we have right here. We're gonna continue to add the broth until these greens are done. And when we talk about frying, that means that when we're done, we're not gonna have any liquid in the bottom. It's just gonna be the bacon drippings that we used. So we're gonna keep on adding our broth to cook the greens. Add a pretty good bit that time. I'm gonna let these simmer and let them cook. When it's time to add some more, I'll be back. I'm 
No top this time. Who's, who's outside? Okay. No, not with her? Okay. I'm gonna add some more water. Okay, so this is the finished product, y'all. And you see, you look down in there, there's really no water. There's not too much water in there anyway. Okay, this is what you want it to look like when you fry your collard greens, when you fry your cabbages. You don't want any water, not too much anyway, to be in the bottom like that. You wanna fry it all the way down. Okay, and these are good. I'm not gonna taste them. Oh, well, I already tasted them <laughs> to see how much, how good they were seasoning. Season. And to tell you the truth, I could not tell the difference between the collards, the broccoli, or the broccolini greens. All of these are in here, and you can't tell the difference of any of them. So you can cook them all together. So if you're growing any of those three things, don't throw away. When you, if you're growing broccolini, or if you're growing broccoli, don't throw those greens away. You eat them. You can make smoothies with them too. I looked on YouTube, and there's a lot of different things you can do with them, but don't throw them away. Okay, so this is my Sunday dinner today. It's just a regular Sunday. And we have the mixed greens. We have broccolini greens, collard greens, and broccoli greens. We have uh, turkey necks and gravy. And that's how I like my turkey necks to look. I don't like them when they all fall off the bone. They are falling off the bone, but I don't like when it's when they too much, too much fun off the phone. Okay, we have some cheesy macaroni and cheese, hot buttered cornbread, that butter don't melt and it went down there. Good hot buttered cornbread. We have some candied yams. We have a baked ham, that's Big Daddy's request. And we have two pans of dressing. There we go. So, I need to call Kiko so he can get over here too, cause he probably gonna text me in a little bit, ask me, did you cook? <laughs> okay guys so this is it um this is really the greens video my fried greens because i've made the healthy greens i think i made one other green before but this right here is the good green that i wanted to try and it comes out really good with the three mixed greens all right guys this concludes this video please remember to like comment share and subscribe and if you want to be notified each time i upload a new video please hit the notification bell below all right, guys. Thanks, and God bless.